My first impression jumping into the Red Sea was just crystal clear water, very colorful, very thriving, extreme biodiversity. So it's really a pleasure and a privilege to experience these reefs. Alex Catan. Uh, I'm a master's student in marine science at the King Abdullah University of Science and Technology in Saudi Arabia. And I'm here in southern Sudan uh, to study the fish on the reefs. Here in the Red Sea, Sudan represents probably the best state coral reefs for the region. These reefs really can present uh, themselves as a baseline of pristine conditions on Red Sea reefs. So learning how fish populations exist on the Sudanese reefs is very interesting and then we compare those to what we see in other regions. In Saudi Arabia, fishing pressure has been quite high and sustained for decades, whereas here in Sudan, fishing intensity is, is very weak. So here I have my dive slate. It's some underwater paper, firmly secured with some rubber bands. It has a list of all the species that I may encounter during my fish counts. So as I see these fish, I'll make notes as to how many there are and how big they are. One of my most important tools is my underwater tape measure. Uh, I'll use this to help me uh, lay down my transect and know exactly how far I swim when I'm counting the fish. This is very important so we get a very good idea of how many fish there are in a given area. I'm laying out the tape. I count all large bodied fish greater than 50 centimeters, but these tend to be the kind of fish that, that are highly mobile, the ones that scare more easily. So I focus on those first. On the way back on the tape, I count all the smaller species. So things generally smaller than 50 centimeters, less mobile, scare less easily, smaller bodied fishes. A strong current can make my life quite, quite, quite frustrating as I'm trying to multitask, uh, counting and, and laying out the tape and taking video and so on and so forth. But generally speaking, in the Red Sea, we have pretty forgiving conditions. And so in general, I tend to have very nice and smooth dives. Experiencing a swim with the manta is just a very powerful experience. They're very large and impressive and, and graceful creatures. They're so free and agile. They can't do anything but inspire you. This particular manta was very inquisitive and very friendly. It was a privilege to be able to swim with that creature for so long. So I have an Excel spreadsheet where I uh, write down key information such as the name of the reef, the date, uh, the time of the day, which can be quite important. And then I'll go ahead and start adding the specific species from my list. What I hope is to then be able to produce a sort of biomass pyramid, so a graph. What it shows is the different proportions of different groups of fish 